Why am I going to give them something that they haven't even earned? They haven't earned it, bro. What's going on, you guys? Didn't I say cold feet? Didn't I say cold feet? It's looking like the, the TFEMOs, right? TFEMOs, Lopez Jr., Sr., TFEMOs. It's looking like they ain't trying to fight Rougarou Regis Progre at all. Hit that like button for your boy. We on Bushido Boxing TV. This is where we're going to be. But Regis Progre, one of the more avoided fighters in the sport of boxing, right? And belts don't matter when certain guys have those belts. Regis Progre is one of those guys. Guys like Terrence Crawford, Boo Boo Andre. When certain guys have certain belts, those belt, the belts just don't seem to matter no more. It just, it just don't seem to matter. But Regis Progre been standing there with that WBC belt in his hand in the middle of the street saying, what's up to anybody that want to smoke? And nobody seems to want to smoke. Tiafimo Lopez Sr., after saying that he was coming for Regis Progre this April, has now gotten cold feet, and now he's backpedaling and saying that there's no money in that fight. That there's no money in the fight. Now, we've heard stuff like this before in the past. But usually these guys come right out and say it straight away, right? But they waited to after they poked at the hornet's nest a bit. They act like they was going to stand there and, and, and deal with what was to come. But instead, they took off running for the hills. So it's looking like Tiafimo Lopez isn't going to be fighting for a world title, and he should get knocked back down in the ratings, just like Jose Ramirez, who also turned down a title shot at Regis Ruguru Progre. I mean, Regis Ruguru Progre is really looking like the werewolf in these boxing streets. None of these dudes want to smoke. I mean, just look what look what he brings as a fighter, right? He has a unique style, excellent stamina. Um, just a hard puncher, granite chin. Regis Progre is a nightmare for a lot of those guys at 140 and 135 pounds. None of those dudes are going to be trying to fight Regis Progre anytime soon, and it's unfortunate. Now, guys like Sabrias Mateus, Subriel Mateus, I'm sorry if I butchered his name, those type of guys will probably step up to the plate, right? Regis Progre said he'll smoke that dude, so that could be a potential fight we could see in the near future for Rougarou. I think Mateus is a good fighter. Coming from Puerto Rico, he's a really good fighter. Um, he's tough, and he can punch. So, I mean, it it, it, it spells for an action-packed fight. But Tiafimo Lopez is, man, after doing all this talking, hooping and hollering and saying he's coming for Rougarou, right? Tiafimo Lopez Jr. didn't seem as froggy as his father. But now his dad, since then, has said there's no money in the fight. I mean, come on, bro. Well, 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 this is a world title shot. You at the next weight class. What, 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 what more excuses could you come up with? This is what happens in boxing. We all familiar with it. We all seen this stuff before. And then we all knew this was likely going to happen. I say it was only about a 5-10% chance that TFEMOs would have took this fight with Rukuru. It was only a 10% chance. It was far-fetched from the beginning. They just clout chasing off Regis Progre's name. Now you best believe if it was somebody of a lesser caliber that was holding on to that WBC belt. Oh, man, all the belts matter. I'm trying to be undisputed. Yada, yada, yada. We know how this goes, right? We know how this goes. But for Regis Progre, he may continue to have a hard time fighting opposition alongside guys like Shakur Stevenson, Terrence Crawford, Demetrius Andre, getting some of those more popular, more notable fighters in the ring. It's almost like pulling teeth. So this is why us as fans got to keep the pressure on these guys. Instead of protecting these guys, we got to put the pressure on these guys. If you if you're your favorite fighter out here duck and smoke, you need to hold him accountable and tell him to walk right into that fire because this is what they signed up for. This is the hurt business. This is the fight game. I mean, I, I know it's brutal. I know it could be harsh, but this is the life that they chose, right? And you got to make the best of it. Why are you still young? Why are you in your prime? Why the opportunities are still there? Now, if Tiafimo Lopez get knocked back down in the rankings, that, that's, that's, that's his fault. Nah, that's what you get. You got to walk into the fire. You was talking all this talk. Now you got to walk to walk. Like, subscribe, hot your boy. Peace out.